The scroll marked four. I am nature's greatest miracle. Since the beginning of time, never has there been another with my mind, my heart, my eyes, my ears, my hands, my hair, my mouth. None that came before, none that live today, and none that come tomorrow can walk and talk and move and think exactly like me. All men are my brothers, yet I am different from each. I am a unique creature. I am nature's greatest miracle. Although I am of the animal kingdom, animal rewards alone will not satisfy me. Within me burns a flame which has been passed from generations uncounted, and its heat is a constant irritation to my spirit to become better than I am, and I will. I will fan this flame of dissatisfaction and proclaim my uniqueness to the world. None can duplicate my brush strokes. None can make my chisel marks. None can duplicate my handwriting. None can produce my child. And in truth, none has the ability to sell exactly as I. Henceforth, I will capitalize on this difference, for it is an asset to be promoted to the fullest. I am nature's greatest miracle. Vain attempts to imitate others no longer will I make. Instead, will I place my uniqueness on display in the marketplace. I will proclaim it. Yea, I will sell it. I will begin now to accent my differences, hide my similarities. So too will I apply this principle to the goods I sell. Salesmen and goods, different from all others, and proud of the difference. I am a unique creature of nature. I am rare, and there is value in all rarity. Therefore, I am valuable. I am the end product of thousands of years of evolution. Therefore, I am better equipped in both mind and body than all the emperors and wise men who preceded me. But my skills, my mind, my heart, and my body will stagnate, rot, and die, lest I put them to good use. I have unlimited potential. Only a small portion of my brain do I employ. Only a paltry amount of my muscles do I flex. A hundredfold or more can I increase my accomplishments of yesterday, and this I will do, beginning today. Never more will I be satisfied with yesterday's accomplishments, nor will I indulge any more in self-praise for deeds which, in reality, are too small to even acknowledge. I can accomplish far more than I have, and I will. For why should the miracle which produced me end with my birth? Why can I not extend that miracle to my deeds of today? I am nature's greatest miracle. I am not in this earth by chance. I am here for a purpose, and that purpose is to grow into a mountain, not to shrink to a grain of sand. Henceforth will I apply all my efforts to become the highest mountain of all, and I will strain my potential until it cries for mercy. I will increase my knowledge of mankind, myself, and the goods I sell. Thus, my sales will multiply. I will practice and improve and polish the words I utter to sell my goods, for this is the foundation on which I will build my career. And never will I forget that many have attained great wealth and success with only one sales talk delivered with excellence. Also, will I seek constantly to improve my manners and graces, for they are the sugar to which all are attracted. I am nature's greatest miracle. I will concentrate my energy on the challenge of the moment, and my actions will help me forget all else. The problems of my home will be left in my home. I will think not of my family when I am in the marketplace, for this will cloud my thoughts. So too will the problems of the marketplace be left in the marketplace, and I will think not of my profession when I am in my home, for this will dampen my love. There is no room in the marketplace for my family. Nor is there room in my home for the market. Each I will divorce from the other, and thus will I remain wedded to both. Separate must they remain, or my career will die. This is a paradox of the ages. I am nature's greatest miracle. I have been given eyes to see, and a mind to think, and now I know a great secret of life. For I perceive at last 
that all my problems, discouragements, and heartaches are in truth great opportunities in disguise. I will no longer be fooled by the garments they wear, for mine eyes are open. I will look beyond the cloth, and I will not be deceived. I am nature's greatest miracle. No beast, no plant, no wind, no rain, no rock, no lake had the same beginning as I, for I was conceived in love and brought forth with a purpose. In the past, I have not considered this fact, but it will henceforth shape and guide my life. I am nature's greatest miracle. And nature knows not defeat. Eventually she emerges victorious, and so will I. And with each victory, the next struggle becomes less difficult. I will win, and I will become a great salesman, for I am unique. I am nature's greatest miracle.